I, mm -mm, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> about Ravelry. When you have a certain amount of yarn, let's say you go to a knitting festival or a yarn shop and you just pick out one skein or maybe two skeins or three or you just, you're just not sure what you want to do but you know you have to have the yarn. And then you think, ah, what, what was I thinking? What was I doing? I don't know what to make with this. So what's so great about Ravelry is you go on and you go to advanced pattern search and on the left you click in all the things you're interested in. Yes, I want to make a sweater. This is how much yardage I have. This is the weight. This is the needles. I don't usually do needles. But whatever it is, you put it in and then up pops all your options. And you can also put in my queue or in my library. Speechless. Every once in a while someone dyes yarn for me. And Vita Lifestyle dyed this Christy glass of Frosé for me. Virgin Frosé. I don't drink. Here it is. It's the most perfect mix of pink, gray, a little gold, a little hot pink, a little blue. It was so fun to knit with because that's the thing about any dyed yarns. You see it in the skein, make it into a cake, and then you start knitting and that's what makes it fun is seeing what's coming up in the next stitch. And after my Ravel research, I found a top that I wanted to make. It's called Boardwalk and it is by Heidi Kermeyer. I've never knit anything by Heidi Kermeyer before. It is found in the Brooklyn Wool People Volume 3 Tweed. So you can see, I'll show you the, the photo of it, that she calls it, underneath boardwalk it says, layering top with mitered neck detail. So there's this photo of it, and then also on Ravelry there's a photo with it styled a little bit differently, but in both cases they wear a little something underneath it. So it's kind of a vest, but it's also a cap sleeve sweater. I think it works fine for both. I'm guessing that most people don't want to wear wool, a cap sleeve wool sweater in a month where you don't want your arms covered. So that's why it's billed as a layering piece. And I think it will go great as a layering piece also. So I wanna tell you about the pattern. I used two skeins of the Vita Lifestyle, that's all I had. And that is necessary, you know, when you have only two, you really do have to look for patterns, usually that don't have sleeves. And it depends on your size. I'm an extra small, small most of the time. This one, I actually did the extra small. So I know that I uh, gauged for this, but as I, so I, I started it and then I put it away for a little bit and as I picked it up again, I realized I was knitting the, I think I was knitting the 32. So the first size was 30 and then 32. So normally I would knit 34, but that's because that's usually the small size. My uh, measurement is a 32. So look, it still has positive ease. So I'm not sure what, I'm guessing I gauged and then made the decision on what size based on the gauge. Maybe my gauge was a little big, so I went 32. I can't remember. But either way, the gauge is really important so that you get a garment that you like and that fits well. So this is bottom up, which is always scary for me. For some reason, I like top down better. But the only bummer about the bottom up portion is that you have, and this is the case with many sweaters, so we always have to deal with this, is that sometimes you have to do a couple parts before they're joined. So you can see on here that you have to do this whole section and this whole section before you join. And it wasn't a big deal. It was fine. It's just that once I got there, I could just cruise. And I, if you have a trip coming up, and you're interested in making this top, I suggest making this sweater for the trip and then having it in the place where you're cruising when you get to the trip. 
I took this to my trip to Norway and Scandinavia and I part of our trip involved car travel so we had one day we, where we were in the car maybe six hours and then another day we were in the car 12 or 13 hours because we wanted to get from one country to another just for logistic purposes and um, I was fine with that because I love knitting in the car and my husband drove so it was amazing. When I started the trip, that's probably about right here. And then I finished it on my trip. So this whole part is just stockinette. And then you just have to start paying attention once you get up here in the sleeve in sleeve land. And these, the construction here was so different and so unique. I loved it. I was so shocked at how this was achieved. I was thinking, how in the world? Often when you start a pattern, it says read all the way through the pattern, which is very important. The only downside about that is if you read all the way through and you're not picturing it as you go, sometimes you get to those last bits and go, I, mm -mm, I don't know what you're talking about. And so just have faith that if you do really stick to the pattern up to that point, it will be much clearer because then you have this visual to look at while you're reading the pattern instead of just having some random thing in your head. But even so, I was shocked because this was like a roundy situation and I don't know what I expected. I mean, it is knitting, but it was so cool how it came together. So cool. I made a little tiny mistake, but I don't think you can tell. You can see these ridges here and I messed up the ridges right towards the center, but I don't think you can see it, so I didn't rip it back. I just kept it. Every single sweater I make has a mistake. And unless it's completely catastrophic, I just leave it in. Who cares? I thought this was such a fun project. I really loved it. It was my last summer project before the weather turned, and this, the other thing, I wanna talk about the yarn. So Vita Lifestyle, she has, all of her bases have a little cashmere in them. So this is MCN, it's so soft. And I've really been, I've been slow to use sock yarn as garment yarn. And she has, this is nylon in it too. And her yarn makes beautiful structure and shape because of that. And because this was a structured top here, I thought it was the perfect match and I think I was right. So that is my latest FO. It's Boardwalk, let's just get it right. That's Boardwalk by Heidi Kermeyer, found in the Brooklyn Tweed Wool People 3. I thought it was a wonderful use of any dyed yarn. I alternated skeins. I didn't alternate as much up here, but I don't think you can tell. But I alternated skeins throughout just to make sure I had a very uniform look to the dye job. And if you just have two or three skein sitting around and you hate knitting sleeves, highly recommend this pattern. This pattern is for you. You should do it. Totally do it. Thanks for checking in to Christy Glass Knits. Bye!